Bonjour from the stunning high peaks of the Alps. It's a little cold and windy at an altitude of 2,000 meters, but I don't mind because it is so magnificent. The region is famous for its strong cheeses that are often used in cooking. After a day skiing, there is nothing more popular than a dish of gratin dauphinois, a dish of sliced potatoes cooked in cream and with cheese, or a gratin of vegetables like silver beet, leek or zucchini. Some of the best cheeses in the Alps are found at the Fromagerie Les Alpages, a special cheese shop run by Bernard Murravo, a world champion cheese master. Bernard, parlez-nous des, des fromages de la région. Eh bien, les fromages des Alpes, vous avez une richesse fromagère, puisque là, vous pouvez voir un plateau euh, qu'on a élaboré rapidement avec une trentaine, quarantaine de variétés de fromages, aussi bien des fromages de vache, de chèvre ou de brebis. Parmi tous ces fromages, il y a effectivement des, des grandes lignes, des AOC euh, de fromages qui sont maintenant protégés par euh, l'appellation d'origine protégée. Le bleu de Sassenage est une pâte persillée qui est fabriquée aux alentours de Grenoble. Le reblochon va sur les Savoies, euh, très prisé par, par tout le monde, les touristes et tous. Et enfin, le Beaufort, qui est un Beaufort d'Alpage. Euh, appellation Beaufort d'Alpage, ça veut dire Beaufort fermier, fabriqué en chelet d'Alpage, plus de 1500 mètres d'altitude. Et à l'heure qu'il est, on a recensé, il reste 15 fermiers qui fabriquent du Beaufort d'Alpage. The cheese fondue is a party dish very popular with families and friends. To prepare it, Bernard selected three tasty cheeses, Beaufort, Abondance and Comté. He allows one kilo of cheese for four to eight people. He first very carefully trims the rind of the three cheeses. Then he grates them using a very fine grater and he tries to keep the cheese light without pressing it or mixing it. For the cooking, Bernard pours a little chardonnay in a pan and on low heat, he adds a little of the grated cheese and gently stirs to start melting the cheese. He then, little by little, adds more cheese and chardonnay. All together, he uses 250 ml of wine for a kilo of cheese. When the cheese is almost melted, he lifts the cheese to give it a little elasticity. It must not boil. The fondue dish is then placed on a fondue burner for the guests to dip a little piece of bread attached to a fondue fork. It's really excellent. The the flavor of the cheese is there. It's not too hot, just melting. Delicious. This is the great city of Grenoble with its fast flowing Alpine Isère River. And tomorrow we are looking at walnuts, one of the great specialties of the region.